Wrestling Observer Live. No, Mike Sempervivi here today. He'll return tomorrow. Apparently when we updated his firmware, there was a conflict of some sort. And we've got to we got to start over again, but he'll he'll return to the show tomorrow. So listen. This match, this eye for an eye match. Like I'm not mad about it. It's just ridiculous. I want to read something. And this doesn't matter. I again, I don't care that much about what I'm going to read. I just want to point out that Vince McMahon historically has been the biggest hypocrite. He will complain about anything that the competition is doing. But then he will turn around and he will do the exact same thing. And in his mind, if he's doing it, it's okay. But if somebody else is doing it, oh man. Last year, Vince was talking about creative. And he said that they will remain in the PG environment. They will not go back to the Attitude Era. They will do some controversial storylines, but they will be better storylines, he said. He said, WWE will not, quote, do blood and guts and things of that nature, such as what is being done on our new potential competitor. If I recall correctly, this I think this was in response, and it doesn't matter because they've done blood many times, but I'm pretty sure that this was in response to the Cody versus Dustin match where Dustin bladed and was bleeding all over the place. Vince said, WWE will not, quote, do blood and guts and things of that nature, such as what is being done on our new potential competitor. He then talked more about how competition was good for everybody, and he said that he hopes that AEW does not, quote, continue to do the blood and guts and gory things that they have been doing. How dare dare a competitor do this blood and guts wrestling pal well as noted in the opening segment wwe is now doing a match coming up at extreme rules and it is in fact what i would consider maybe i'm biased here what i would consider a blood and guts match it is an eye for an eye Rey mysterio versus seth rollins and unlike when aw did an eye for an eye the winner of this match it, it says on WWE.com, quote, a winner can only be determined by extracting the opponent's eye. So, yes, it's a taped show. They're going to do some sort of special effects gimmick, and either Seth Rollins or Rey Mysterio is going to have their eyeball pulled out of the socket. It'll be dangling by that ligament or whatever in your eye. It's going to hang there. They're going to go, ah, and that's how the match is going to be over. The point of all of this is, so as ridiculous as it is, is they're doing a, a an eye for an eye match where you have to yank out another guy's eyeball to win. As ridiculous as that is, it's impossible to take seriously. Nobody can suspend their disbelief that one of these men is actually going to pull the eyeball out of the other guy's skull. What are you going to do in this match? We can't go for a near fall because there's no pinfalls. You can't go for submissions because there's no submissions i mean there's no dqs there's no count outs according to wwe.com the only way to win is that somebody must extract the opponent's eye so when they ring that bell i mean presumably ray and seth rollins are just gonna start gouging each other's eyes and like what else can they do ray's gonna do some moves oh i'm gonna do some moves to set up me trying to pull his eyeball out Oh, and then he's going to make a comeback, and he's going to do some moves to set up pulling my eyeball out. That's the whole match. So not only is it a preposterous stipulation that nobody can take seriously, that is completely wacky, but there's like no way the match can be any good. I mean, 20 minutes of trying to pull on each other's eye, no near falls, no submission attempts, that's your match. I don't even know if they thought about that before they made this stipulation. So anyway, that's the match. 